Oh shit, bitch. Uh, last time I cried, I was in therapy, and I cried because of something stupid. It wasn't something deep. I cried because I cried because my therapist was like, "You were so young," and I was like, "I was." <laughs> And that was what it was. That was the last time I cried. I don't cry very often, to be real. I cry like three times a year. I also only burp like three times a year. Um, you know, just a... Crying is just not my thing. I just, uh, I'm a bottler. Just fucking bottle that shit down. Who needs an emotion? I don't, I don't want any emotions. I don't want any of those. I don't like crying. The last time I cried was I went to Nike in LA and they gave me a lot of gear and shoes and the guy looked at me in the eyes and he said, Welcome to the Nike family. And I cried and I gave him a hug because it's been a dream of mine forever to get free Nike gear. I just got broken up with, so every day for the past two weeks. The last time I cried was probably while writing a song like a couple days ago. It really hit home while I was writing it and it got emotional. But, you know, just a couple tears, no big deal. <laughs> I, I, I cried last week, I can't tell you why, but somebody in my family is sick, so that was, that was a bummer. I got into Tame Impala super late and I've been listening to the song eventually and I just got a car so I drive and I blast that song at night and every time I listen to it I cry my fucking eyes out and it's so sad. The last time I cried was last night on my flight on the way here to Chicago uh, because I hate flying and the turbulence was absolutely insane. Uh, that's when I cried. Last time I cried actually was last week. I'm not a big crier, but I was working on this song with a couple of my friends and it just was getting really emotional. I don't know, it was just like really good and it was like really touching my like soul and I was like, I think I'm tearing up and I like started crying and I'm not much of a crier, but music made me cry. Five years ago on, you know the, the little swing ride at Navy Pier? Yeah, that. Were you alone? Yes. Well, there were other people on the ride, but I went to Navy Pier were you alone. Listening to a specific song, or no, it was uh, the ride was just very scary. Okay, that's right. That's that must be why you haven't ridden on like any rides at like Six Flags anytime we go. Yeah, I've, uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last time I cried. Uh, was when I like I touched a jellyfish at the uh, at the aquarium, and you, well, you jumped into the jellyfish tank. No, I wanted to, but I just touched it. I told oh, a different you, time. I, I told no, I told you I jumped in. Oh, but I. Well, you're a liar. I just touched it, and then I cried. Oh, so you cried and he lied. I almost cried today <laughs> from being so excited. Um, I, last time I cried was in the studio because Nick Zinner from the IAS played on one of my tracks and it was a moment and I sobbed <laughs> out of happiness. <laughs> I cried yesterday uh, after my set. I got to play the BMI stage and uh, you know, this is my first festival. Super prepared to go out there and play for like 200 people, which would have been incredible. And uh, like 2,000 people showed up. And on stage, I was just like, what? <laughs> it's just so amazing and overwhelming. And after the set, I was just like, wow, I'm so grateful that I like I know people came to hear me sing Crush and I feel really grateful that people have connected with that song and wanted to hear it and I was like this is wild I'm living my dream and I cried <laughs> last time I cried I don't cry bro I cry in the music no I'm just kidding <laughs> um last time I cried I, I don't oh it was because I put my mom into a, a new home that was crazy for me that was really beautiful for me like she was it was a dangerous place that she lived in, and it's, she's not there anymore. I don't have to worry about my mom's safety. That's crazy. Yeah, last time I cried was uh, at our Pittsburgh performance when my dad got to see us perform for the first time. And I was just really happy that he, I had that opportunity. When I watched Co Disney's Coco, dude, movies get me so bad. Like Lion King, there you go, The Lion King. That gets me every time when when Mufasa dies, it just like sears me. I heard my song on something. It wasn't the radio, but I heard my song 
And people were singing it And I was like Oh I was crying and shit I cried uh, After a show um, That I played in Tampa, Florida Cause it went really bad And my girlfriend was there And I was embarrassed That she had to see that I cried when I watched uh, Mrs. Doubtfire On the plane Coming here <laughs> I cried when I quit doing drugs and I started feeling real emotions. That was like a new thing for me. I cried at home one night because I was stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cry. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I cried last night because I was like overwhelmed with thinking about, I don't know, my past as a musician and my present with you guys and the progression and everything made me emotional. So, it was good. Last month, I don't know, probably about some stupid shit. I don't remember what it was, but yeah. Uh, on the flight over here, I heard that altitude makes you emotional, like the higher, and it was because I was watching the uh, the film about uh, Stan and Ollie, about Laurel and Hardy, like an old school like couple who, uh, uh, a double act who used to be on like old black and white films and stuff. And, uh, and, one of them went to school in my hometown and one of them was American and one of them was British and they were like a double act and they loved each other and at the end uh, one of them died I don't know which one I forgot and then uh, and it said in the credits at the end that he never ever worked with anybody else and he wrote material for eight years after but he never ever worked with anybody else and I just I was like <laughs> Last time I cried was season four of Queer Eye where they transformed the older gentleman's entire life and it was just one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I think his name was Eddie and he was single and they got him a dog and it was amazing. I don't know if it was like tears of, of, of sadness or anything, but um, no, it was on the flight over here. I was watching the movie Creed and I started getting very emotional. I was like, come on, like this dude's been working so hard his whole life to get to this moment. I was getting really emotional. I was like, why am I getting so emotional about this movie? Had those moments of like, I shouldn't be emotional right now, but I'm feeling emotional. And so that was, that was like three days ago. Last time I cried was in like sixth grade or something. I need, I've been, I've been wanting to cry. I think I, I think it's really healthy to cry. I've been actively praying that I can cry, that the Lord would bless me with that. Yeah, so I'm working on it. I cried during Toy Story 4 because it's a heavily emotional movie. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. The last time I almost cried was when I was watching one of the sad stories on American Ninja Warrior of the person that broke his ankle and then made a full recovery and like ran the thing. <laughs> last time I cried was watching the Uncle Kenny episode of Queer Eye. I don't cry, I don't cry that much. The last time I cried was at rehearsal, uh, like a month ago. I was having a tough day, but then my friends hugged me, and I had a great day after nothing that. Good, yeah, nothing a good group hug can't fix, you know? My answer is actually the same as Graham's. Um, it's pretty recent, like, Queer Eye is a good show. Dude, it'll, it'll hit ya. Well, music makes me cry more than anything, probably. Last time I cried was when the, I watched Castaway recently, and at the end of the film, I cried. Um, mine was after a show the boys don't really know about, but in Ireland we, we headlined the show Electric Picnic and when we got off stage it was the first time that it really kind of hit me that the band is doing great and we're, we're really making um, making progress. So, Have you ever cried? Have I ever? <laughs> ever cried? No, I've never cried. <laughs> um, I, I can't even remember the last time I cried. There was tears in my eye after the tree arena at all. Yeah. I think we all had a bit of a moment there, but yeah. I think that was the last time. I also cried on a plane recently watching Queer Eye. That made me cry. I nearly cried at Handmaid's Tale. There's a few times I just uh, can't cope with this. Well, I felt like crying very recently, but I held it together. Because of lack of sleep. <laughs> yeah, lack of sleep. I keep waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning and then only falling asleep again at 9 a.m. Uh, and yeah, I got up, you know, a couple of hours after 9 a.m. and walked into the kitchen and was just like a broken man. Last time I cried really, really hard, I was delirious on a plane watching Crazy Rich Asians. That movie is fucking beautiful and so pretty. And just it, it hits deep, especially when you're like a couple thousand feet in the air and you know the air is circulating and you're getting a little funny. 
really hits nice. So that's that was like it was like real tears. There was like businessmen on either side of me, you know, like just like reading their newspaper or whatever, and I'm just like crying my heart out. 